Okay, so for this exercise, um, I chose a mosaic I saw at the Hagia Sophia in Istanbul um, a few years ago, um, which has been loosely titled Mosaic Over the Imperial Door. Um, when I first viewed it, um, I understood it to be above the door that Imperials uh, entered um, into their Eastern Orthodox Church services. Um, so in a sense, this piece of art was their first um, encounter uh, with the worship of uh, their day, um, it, and it was an, intended to set the stage for uh, the continuation of their worship um, going into that. So, um, And I also understood at the time that the bowing or the prostrated figure uh, was to be an imperial figure, um, and his prostration before Christ, the figure of Christ, uh, made clear uh, who is really due true worship and authority. Uh, but it wasn't until this assignment that I dug more into the context of the mosaic, uh, which is incredibly layered and fascinating. And so um, here's my tree. I'm not really sure if you can see it, but um, you can look it up in the link, I guess. Um, and so um, it was developed, uh, it was created in the 9th or 10th century, which I don't know where that is. Anyway, um, and it was in uh, the city of Constantinople. Um, which um, was experiencing uh, recent conflicts between uh, the patriarchs of the Eastern Orthodox Church, um, which was the seat of the church at that time, uh, and the emperors, um, which was Emperor uh, Leo or Leon, uh, depending on who you ask, the fifth. Um, and so it was kind of a, a battle between church and state um, at the time. And there were also recent conflicts within the Orthodox Church about the legitimacy of icons. And so um, you also have... Um, uh, that battle going on, um, which was decided um, at the Triumph of Orthodoxy decision. Um, but anyway, uh, iconoclasm had swept over the church and led to the destruction of a lot of art and icons that had depicted the divine uh, because people believed that showing uh, their humanity, showing Christ or God's humanity, um, kind of took away or blasting their di divinity. So just before this mosaic was created, the Second Nicene Council had developed, determined um, that icons uh, indeed were not blasphemous. And so the creation of this artwork made two statements, one socially to the government, that Christ, by way of his church, had ultimate authority. Um, and then another statement theologically, um, that art can indeed include depictions of Christ. Um, it's not an idol or in any way disrespecting his divinity by portraying his humanity. So um, there's more that informed the design itself, um, just the, um, the history of mosaic art, kind of how it um, became... Um, indicative of Byzantine art, and then kind of how it was um, perpetuated by uh, various emperors um, of that time. So that is sort of a, a brief overview of this uh, mosaic story or its family tree.